This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Maybe it's because I blocked everyone who would not forgive me. <laughs> I don't know. But meanwhile, a uh, pretty good fucking match here, right? Absolutely. Good way to end it. I mean, big stars. Absolutely. And, and to be clear, the guys who started in, in seg one, here they are in the, in the final segment of the show. So, uh, chat me up on this story. Rock has got to win this match or he's out of the WrestleMania match. Is that it? He's got to pin two guys in order to <clears> get <throat> his WrestleMania match. So he's got to beat Hunter and he's got to be big show. And then he's got a match at WrestleMania. Mm, well, no, did anyone really think he would not show up to WrestleMania? Well, if he bought a ticket, that's what Jerry Lawler said. He's welcome. Uh, if he buys a good. ticket, great story. Look at the kids, man. By the way, when I, when I see the McMahon family like that, I think of Bruce, is he, is everything okay in his world? Uh, he's stressed out. I bet he is. A lot. Man, I, 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 I bet you all the shit that he's had to do because of all this, you know, because of WrestleMania time and, and taking it away from the stadium and Tampa, I'm, I'm sure he's stressed out of his mind. Here we go. The rock says he's in trouble. God, Paul's a, just a massive man. He, you just don't get. Hmm. I, I, the TV never did him justice. You see him in real life, you get it. And what's the what was the uh, story on uh, Triple H, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, using the name The Game? Uh, cause he was called the game during this era here. Yes. Well, there was a phrase that was getting popular in pop culture mm -hmm. that, uh, don't hate the player, hate the game. Got it. Right. That's and he uh, said, Booker T always said that. And he would say, I'm not a player. I am the game. Got it. And then, there you, you know, they did a whole little theme song. It's all about the game and how you play it. Hmm. I had a feeling it had something to do with the rap. He would try calling himself, uh, the cerebral assassin mm -hmm. and, um, the king of Kings, which I think is like Jesus or whatever. Yeah, it is. Well, we're getting ready to see God in a couple of weeks. So we might as well see Jesus. Sure. Which I'm looking forward to. And I guess that's going to be right up there with may young. Having God wrestle. I think he was called the, the creator, the destroyer, God, God Connecticut was. blue blood mm -hmm. trips, triple trips. H. Yeah. Like, oh, you know. trips. Got, got it. It's shortened for triple H. That's when you're too lazy to say the word. Like I'm going on vacay. I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going on vacay. No, you're going on vacation. As a matter of fact, we're all on vacation right now, but it's not vacay. What are you doing around the house right now? You know, you've been telling us every week that you've been doing some things around the house while you've been on quarantine. Yeah. Uh, well, I, uh, I got all my paperwork in order to, uh, to file taxes. I did all that and it's a, it's a pretty healthy thing here. I, um, I bought some more Batman figures and I've been, uh, sprucing up my room a little bit. Uh, we cleaned out the garage completely, bought new garage doors. Watch out. Pin somebody here, Rock. Uh, we're going to uh, do some work on uh, on the kitchen next. Get some things done. Playing with my dog. Playing PlayStation Four. And um, sleeping. Doing some work. You know, uh, doing some uh, some work for uh, for AEW. We're still doing some things. So, um, have you seen Jake Roberts? I, I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. No. Yeah. Did an interview last week saying he got kicked out of DDP's house. Did he really? Yeah. 
because DDP is afraid of elderly people now? Is that it? No, because he was booked for AW and DDP said, Hey man, if you leave, you can't come back because of the virus. Yeah. So he felt like he had to go because he wanted his job with AEW. So we went and then Dallas wouldn't let him in. So now he's stuck in some hotel and now AEW's not booking him and he just lives in a hotel all by himself. <clears throat> yeah, but he's a, he's a part of AEW. Okay. No, I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying yeah. that was the interview. And all I could think was maybe you could let maybe come just let him hang out in the attic or whatever. He could hang out in the bat cave. Well, you're in there. Okay. I don't think you'd want to be bunk buddies with him. Yeah. But in the attic. You just want someone to go look for your six man belt. Oh, well, while well, he's up there. That could yeah. work. Yeah. That could work. Yeah, I got you. Maybe do like uh like a DDT or something up there. Yeah. Maybe bust the ceiling out. Maybe then it would fall down to where y'all were and you could find it easily. He's gonna kick out of the choke slam. Wait a minute, what well, it's over. That's the end of the show, buddy. The end of the show. He's not going to WrestleMania. Nope, he's dead. Rock's dead. That's the end of his career. He would retire right then. Rock is dead and May had a baby. Yep. Man, what a what a terrible way to go off the air. I really would have liked to have seen one more cutaway backstage of Mark Henry coddling the hand. That would have been course, great with all the slime still on it. Well, no, they would have wiped it off and swaddled it, you know, put one of those baby blankets on it and let May Young take the, the fucking cigar out. And mm -hmm. They could have named, you know, like Jerry Briscoe and mm. <laughs> I don't think he would have been a good godfather. I think that would have been, <gasps> they could have had the actual godfather be the godfather. Mm-hmm. And it would have been tremendous if May Young would have demanded 15% of that hand <laughs> right then. <laughs> I want my cut. <laughs> well, listen, I had fun with this this week. Next week, Woo. we're going to do some old school WCW Vader power bombing cactus Jack on the floor in WCW from 1993. Don't you dare watch it. Watch it with us next week here, uh, right here on what happened when, but Tony asked for this week, it feels like it's about that time. And we do understand in the backstage area right now. We're going to dispatch Dave Silva to the backstage area because uh, right now, May Young is in recovery. And uh, Dave has just told us that, oh, my God, the fabulous Moolah has now gone into labor. And uh, they're going to have Dave. Uh, Dave, is, is she given, She has given birth. Yes, uh, she has given birth. Ladies and gentlemen, she has given birth to another hand. A set of hands have been born in the backstage area. And Dave is taking those hands, and he's, 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 he's whacking himself off with them. My God, this is the worst that we have ever done here on What Happened When. See you next week on What Happened When. We come to you on Westwood One. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? And every Monday we come to you on Patron. Patreon.com forward slash WHW Monday, where if you subscribe, not only would you get this show early and ad free, but you would also get live chats with Tony Schiavone. Lord knows he ain't got shit else to do. Rescue him from Lois. Join patreon.com forward slash WHW Monday before it's too late. We got to go. Weird. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.